All right. We are live on YouTube right now. Hello, YouTube. Hello, YouTube. No one's here yet. Oh, doesn't matter. Context. Uh, we'll, we'll sound funny in post when people start watching it from the beginning. Yeah. Uh, if, you're, if, you're not, if you're here late, fuck you. If you're here early, you're off. Dude. Okay, like what? that. Oh, also, you keep forget you forgot res tokens. So I only done once. Now, so you can still res me. Uh, you died twice because I don't have a token. I only died once. I don't have a token, which. Say they're gonna count every bullet, but when do they ever actually count every single bullet? They don't. They don't. They definitely don't pit uh, every single bullet. Okay, you didn't even give me a chance to get the do the thing. Oh, ass. Look, I'm trying to be quick. Oh, still let me do it. Oddly enough. Oh, cool. Start counting, motherfuckers! <laughs> or as I like to have to say and have introduced him to the clan, twinkle twinkle assholes. <laughs> <laughs> all right. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Um yep. Yep, yep, yep. So let's put this at the border of what you can see so I know what to keep in frame. All right. That's my border. Excellent. All right. So today we're going to talk about a couple different starships coming to the channel pretty soon. And then um, let's get this one out of the picture. Because it's not ready yet. No one's watching, but we are live. So, we got this guy from B.W. Reynolds. Uh, he said that he didn't know when he was going to produ produce more of these guys. Uh, over here. Uh, but he put out this one, and it's pretty damn fabulous. It's broken up into three pieces, technically three pieces. It's more than three, but it's the hull, the engine system, and then three uh, engine cones, which I have right here. No engine cones. These would look fabulous in uh, resin, and they look pretty okay in, in um, FDM as well. You can even see the little grid a little better than on his other ships. Oh, keep it in frame, boy. Keep it in frame. Okay. So, there's that one. There's also the Pro-Q Seder from... Uh, this is a resin engine ship for Star Wars Armada. It's not a Star Destroyer. It's the Pro-Q Seder. You can tell because it's only got a couple little laser cannons and three turbo lasers in the front. But I think the main event today are going to be these ships. These are the Alliance ships from One Page Rules. And we've already painted one. Come on, get out of here. We've already painted the small ship, which is right here. We primed this one in, I think, Citadel Spray Wraithbone. But we uh, primed these in this Krylon Light mossy i think it's mossy gray it's really really nice so we're gonna go with this these were printed in fdm and we're gonna start today by shaking up some paint and doing some engine glow we got some athermatic blue uh contrast i went to the games workshop store actually it's called the warhammer store here in houston and I was like, I'm looking for an engine glow, kind of like Tesseract glow, except blue. And he was like, well, try this. So there's the engine segment. We're going to paint directly from the pot because we are heathens. 
Let's go. Um, the engines on these, if you print these in FDM, you probably want to print them nose down instead of nose up so you get a better representation of the engines. The engine system is actually really simple, but uh, printing them how they're printed, or are, are, it's, it's messy. Oh, I'm not even on screen. I'm gonna hey, do... What? Why don't you do a plug for your channel? What do you mean why don't I want to do a plug for my channel? In order for them to be seeing this video, they would have had to uh, know how to get to my channel. Come on, this is where you say this is the name, insert name of channel here. Hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, and let's keep going. Oh, oh, the call to action. You want me to call to action? Okay. Yeah, this is totally me not asking what your name is so I can look you up and follow you. This is me letting you know to play to the audience. All right. So, Ender, did you not notice that Pulse linked his stream in general? No, he's he's trying. He's helping me. Yeah. Yeah, he's helping me. <laughs> hey, thanks for uh, thanks for watching. Uh, this is Pulse Fire Gaming. We do video games, role playing games, and a shit ton of three print three D printed starships. If you're interested in our uh, channel, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. Let us know what you think. Because without input, we might think we're doing good when we're actually doing really bad. I mean, what? Arnold, what scale are you wanting to see a uh, Naboo Starfighter in? Oh, I'm sorry. Ender, I'm so sorry. Hey, Arnold! That's that's my... My excuse is I'm not looking at Discord, so I, I don't know. So we just got a brand new arm for our webcam so we can actually do these streams and have them look okay. Not great, but okay. And we also got this army painting, army painter uh, starter set. It's not the speed painting set because I already have too many speed paints. I've got the, uh, the set from Monument, the little pro acryl set. And then I've got a set from, uh, or not, a set, several from Citadel. Okay, so let's concentrate on the medium ship. I This is technically already a medium ship at the small scale. Um, they come in two scales, small and large. Uh, and so I meant to print, I meant to paint a small ship, but I actually ended up painting a big ship. You could tell because on the bottom it's got three dots. And then if you look at the actual small ship, it has two dots on each side right there. So. Okay. Why don't you uh, explain to the people at home who might not know, or probably are just filthy heathens like me, um, what's the difference between the speed paints and the ones you just showed? I have no idea. They're all, okay, so Army Painter Speed Paint and Pro Acryl transparent paints and Citadel contrast paints are uh, uh, they're just light paints. They're somewhere between a paint and a glaze. Everyone knows this. No one knows. I'm not. I'm not an expert on this. There we go. Thank you so much, um, Ender, for being an amazing uh, guy. Uh, I responded to Palmer. Palmer's awesome. I actually have to write... He sent me a quote for another order of ships that I am going to have to eventually get to. But the problem is I'm having some pretty significant problems with my resin printer right now, which is why these are in FDM. Oh, boy. Ender, you are the best. You know that? Okay. No, I'm just a moron. So, think of a 3D printer. What are you picturing right now? Well, there's a 
answer and a smart ass answer. Uh, the either one will do, I guess. Well, a spider is just an organic three D printer. Yeah, I suppose. <laughs> well, no, uh, I mean, painting stream. Um, technically, humans are 3D printers, too. Yeah. Very bad adhesion and very bad uh, uh, extrusion. <laughs> it does. It does depend on what filament you use, doesn't it? Oh, I'm not on camera. It's not Hyverns. It's uh, okay. So we, a long time ago in a galaxy far, far away, my buddy was like, uh, we were playing full thrust. Uh, and one of my buddies, uh, one night we had, didn't have enough starships in the full thrust scale. So we, uh, we, uh, I grabbed some star Wars Armada ships and he was like, Hey, in the future we should use, I had just gotten a 3d printer. He's like, we should use the Star Wars Armada ships more often because the bigger ships are better. So another friend uh, who actually designed these ships and um, these ships uh, said, hey, you know, you're using those Armada stands. Let me make a stand. Let me design a stand for you to 3D print. So he designed a stand that has uh, your arcs for firing. And then when you make course adjustments... This one's actually a really bad print. Don't judge, don't judge it by the print. Uh, uh, you can make course adjustments or firing arcs. So you can tell, hey, this is your forward firing arc. This is your uh, uh, starboard side. Uh, this is your port side. Port four, port aft, or the uh, port four, port aft, aft, starboard aft, and then star or uh, starboard four. So. Well, it would mean something to you if you were like looking. Yeah, I, I mean, you don't need to know how to play full thrust. Uh, but uh, like most mini Star Wars Star Starship miniatures games are going to have that concept of those firing arcs and some kind of course adjustment. Here's a example of a modified um, ninety millimeter base for bigger ships. So you can see the the yeah you can see it clear. yeah okay all right so we're gonna do some of the if you look on here you can see that we did some of the containers yellow and blue and red and we're gonna follow that and then we're gonna do some probably lead belcher and then uh, rune lord brass yeah we'll go from there so that's the base. You mean the the engagement of the stream, the totally acceptable engagement of the stream? And other bullshittery, sure. Yeah, um, yeah. I have, I think. Gropos. It's a. Uh, it's an acronym. Well, it's not an acronym. It's a. It's a different literary thing. Uh, it's a. Uh, the ground pounders from Babylon five and yeah, I don't have, I think I have the shuttles that they use in the grow pose episode, but I think that's it. I have an utterly huge database of starships, uh, and almost every Babylon five ship that exists, but there isn't a whole lot that you would do for just, the Gropos, besides their little, uh, there's the Miramadorn, and then there's a, a shuttle. I can't remember the name of the shuttle, Palmer. All right. What? Yeah, the autofocus is kind of trash. I thought I had turned it off, and I turned it off in the software, but it's not. Let 
me see if I can. If you probably, yeah, see, now it's focusing on your Yeah. Something text wise? Yeah. Hmm. I don't know. Place a piece of cardboard or a napkin there. Uh well I have. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hey, look, it's my wife. Hey wife, we are live on YouTube. Hello. Yes, I can see your beautiful arm hair now. I know. I had a uh, a boss that I work for at, uh Compared it to a sweater, often. That actually did improve that quite a bit. Did it really? I don't know. It doesn't look great, but it's, I mean, it's just a Logitech webcam, so. Yeah, but compared to two seconds ago, it was little bits, little bits of pause. Yeah. Compared it to a sweater. What are you referring to? My arm hair. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was. It's pretty hilarious. I love that guy. His name is Gerardo. He's probably one of the best managers at AT and T that exists. He firmly believed, as did would I call him his mentor? No, uh, Gerardo, and then uh, well, when Gerardo was a assistant manager he was his he was a manager and then gerardo out of all people and also james at that at&t store in uh in arizona believe that uh your guys will do better if you shout them out as often as possible and he both those guys talked me up so well that i got to do a lot of things that I think guys at AT and T, <laughs> Pulse or Palmer just said, "Sweet, hi, Mrs. Pulse fired." <laughs> he definitely, uh, Gerardo especially, got me hi. to do a lot of uh, uh, activities with uh, AT and T that I would not have been able to do without him constantly being a cheerleader for me. He's an example of a truly magnificent boss that gets that knows exactly how to get the most out of his people by treating his people hey like humans that also want to you know uh do well in life i know it's a, such a foreign concept so gerardo if you're out there i love you man i don't miss the schedule at at t but i definitely miss the friends that i made there Yeah. The chat and community. What? Um, to engage with the chat and the community. Oh, yes. Yes. So I noticed you talked about something about him buying, about uh, our good friend here, Palmer Rip, buying or commissioning stuff off of you. Yet, on your channel, I see no way to learn more. Oh. Um, you know, and... Also, you have copied the entire playlist of Shadow of Israel on your channel. Uh, you can still see that? You shouldn't be able to see that. <laughs> uh, I mean, not that specifically. It's not that I'm ashamed of the early Yogscast stuff. Dude. Uh, dude, I love that stuff. I really wish that they had continued the Shadow of Israel stuff. I watched a kind of documentary on it. This is McCrag Brew. McCrag Blue, by the way. Focus. Focus, focus, no focus. Okay. Yeah, their stuff now is, their stuff now is great. Yeah, I, I loved it when they were doing stuff like Tech It. Uh, when uh when they were doing what was it the uh. Is that on stream? Uh, the uh, the Jaffa Cake Factory. Oh, that was yeah. that was my jam, man. I actually tried Jaffa Cakes, and I apologize to Simon. They're not my favorite. I did not like them. Aren't they like moon pies or something? No, it's a little cakey biscuit with an orange marmalade in the middle. Mmm, marmalade. 
Where is your camera located? My camera is right here. It's facing straight down. You want to come here and see what it looks like on stream? Sure. I really wish I had a longer USB cable, but uh, so I could plug this into my main computer. Uh, but right now it's plugged into a laptop. So here, here it is. You notice that I have this right here so I can see where my border of my thing is because I can't get it straight on and make it look good. I see. Mm -hmm. Yes. And then I've got my Yeti, my blue Yeti, mm -hmm. my light, and my cheap-ass webcam. All right. So comparing this, because these are the same ship, it looks like we should probably grab some... Uh, Let's grab some lead belcher. Lead belcher. Oh man, dude, I love. I had. Yeah. Is so have you played the game Deep Rock Galactic? I have. Is, oh, is that basically Diggy Diggy Hole the game in space? It is. It is. It is. Do they get Diggy kickbacks Diggy. for that? Because they basically stole their concept? I don't know. Um, I do want to say my favorite video of Gunkin was when he hit like a million subscribers and did cooking. Like, just one steak. <laughs> Dude, I hope I have a million subscribers when I hit 300 videos. Probably not, though. I also don't know. What number is it when it has six zeros? Uh, six zeros is uh, a million? No, okay. Yeah. Well, normally they write it out, but I'm kind of dumb, so. Oh, that's okay. Hey, anyway, don't, don't let those neurotypicals bur uh, bully you, man. Well, Homer does that, apparently. So, why am I opening Minecraft? My computer just randomly started opening Minecraft. Oh. Yeah, I heard you talking about Yahoo's guys. I'm like, I'm just taking a trip down memory lane. Yeah. So, if you have watched any of my videos posted in the last, I don't know, four months, and the, there's a link in each of my videos that contains a web address to my web store. Well, it's not a web store so much as just a contact form. If you want something 3D printed and you're in the U.S. or you want to pay the ridiculous fees to ship it in internationally, if you go to PulseFire.com, which is my blog, and then slash contact, it'll take you to a contact form that allows you to email me and basically say, hey, man, I want some starships. And what generally the conversation is hey, I want some starships, and I'll ask you, hey, what scale do you want those starships in? Uh, or what size do you want them in, in other words? And... What? You, ha you have to absolutely paint them yourselves. If you haven't been able to tell by this stream, my painting skills are the poo-poo. Okay, well, some of us have less talent than you, so... Well, it's... It's not so much, look, uh, I, I'll tell you right now, it is not about talent. Painting is not about talent. 3D printing is not about talent. What I do for a living, which is paint, uh, which is fixing dents in cars for dealerships, none of that is about talent. Talent is a bullshit thought process that, uh, that allows some people to say, oh, hey, I'm better than you. Uh while pe some people may pick up some things faster than other people, it's all about practice. If you want to be the best print or painter or 3D printer or video gamer or whatever, uh, it's about the hours you put into it. Uh, and... Yes. That, that 
that's 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 the two sides of the coin. All right. Either you went 100 overboard, and oh shit. Pro acrylic transparent yellow. It's pretty good opacity. It's a contrast paint that's just yellow. Uh, and then I'm gonna put one drop into my uh, palette that I have over here. I have a little dry palette right here. Oh, you can see it. Oh, look, it looks like an egg. It's okay not to have enough time to paint things or print your own things. Heck, I have a, a hobby that is funded by other people um, paying me to print things. But if you want to, and you've got the means to, don't ever let like your fear get in the way of stuff. Do you only print chips? Uh, that is the primary thing that I print. But I'll show you some other things that I print while that dries, because it takes a little bit to dry. Ooh, I really like that yellow. Okay, so... Which one? This one? This one. Well, they're, they're primed in two different colors. This one's primed in Citadel Spray Wraithbone, and this one's primed in Krylon... I think it's mossy gray or something like that. It's a it's a really nice Krylon uh, color. Oh yeah, that's because that is printed or that's painted in what's it called? It's a different yellow. It's um. No, I didn't use the same yellow. But watch this. Oh, here it is. I used uh, Averland Sunset uh, Citadel paint. Well, they have names that are like lore specific to them. I need mean, a paint that's literally just called Gork, which is green, and then Mork, which is the same shade of green. Just sold in two different containers. Uh, well, in the uh, in the the uh, army painter set that I just got, I have green skins. Yeah. Uh, one of them is cunningly brutal, and one of them is brutally cunning. Um, a lot of people think that they're the same entity. They're not. Don't know, but uh, sometimes there's a third. His name was, I think, Fork. No, that is that's apocryphal, sir. All right. Uh, to enter to to answer your question, let me see if I can get this to focus, 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 focus. Okay, so this is a come on, come on. Uh, there we go. So this is a different thing that I print. These are resin printed one page rules robot legions figures. One page rules is a um, it's a uh, alternative to games like uh, Warhammer, and they make their own the they make their rules the one page rule system like Grimdark Future, Grimdark uh, uh, Firefight, Age of Fantasy. They make things that are um, adjacent to Warhammer. Um, yeah. Uh, Palmer, I do see your question about printing a lot of ships. I don't print a super ton. I probably print... I mean, for personally, I print lots of ships. I think my personal collection, I have uh, probably 2,000 ships if you don't count fighters. Little, uh, little fleet scale fighters like this guy. But uh, I ship... The, the the discounts that I get through PayPal shipping um, are probably the the best that I can get for the volume that I ship because I don't ship a ton of volume. I probably don't ship more than three or four boxes a uh, a month. So. Yeah, like a warehouse full of printers cranking these out, then maybe 
well, yeah, and there's there's things like uh, I'm I'm supposed to. Someone had asked me why I don't have an Etsy page for all of my prints since I I have license to print a ton of stuff. Like for instance, these EC EC 3D K Shellic ships that are going to be print or painted next for a video coming out uh, this week. Shoot, I got to get that video done, man. Uh, so I need I need to open up an Etsy page for all that to get out more volume because the more volume because my hobby is fueled by the orders that I take uh, I need to if I want to expand the hobby like maybe get two printers instead of one that way if one resin printer goes down I don't have to worry about not being able to fulfill orders hint hint <laughs> uh, I can I can afford that and I've been doing good so far if you if you look at every printer that I bought after my first Ender 3, I've bought those with money from orders. Um, what? <laughs> yes, I bought your relative, Ender. That's right. It's funny. Almost every time I see you in chat, Ender, in our Discord server, this isn't a specific pulse gaming Discord server. It's the Discord server we use to play uh, Destiny. Um, I'm going to call this ship... No, this ship isn't done yet. It needs... I'll come back to that in just a second. I need to figure out what color I need to print this. I guess silver? Black? Black. Where's a... Uh... Here we go. Contrast Black Templar. Here we go. Um... You are very careful. I actually don't know how you do it these days. The last time I changed mine was when... Um, yeah. Uh, last time I changed my username, I had to do it through Google+. Plus. That tells you how long ago I changed it. All right. Kind of just slap and paint on this so I can get it done. This is going to be a video soon. The last one page rules video I did on their um, progenitor fleet actually did really well compared to some of the other videos that I've put out. So I'm hoping that this uh, the Alliance ships come out good. I do need to print out the squadrons before I do the video on this, though. Um, like chips that, like, look at, like the Necron breakfast croissant. Yeah. Um, like, do you ever paint one to look like a croissant? No, I'm not that good of a painter. Uh, the whole reason I'm painting on, um, oh, Palmer, uh, I use three or two Ender threes, a CR 10, and an Elegoo Saturn. But if you're looking for a cheaper entry into 3D printing, uh, for resin printing, the uh, Ender 2 Pro, or excuse me, the uh, Elegoo Mars 2 Pro is basically a Saturn with that's smaller, so it's much cheaper. And even the Saturn isn't that expensive. They have a new ship, or they have a new printer that or, that they're a refresh of that printer that's selling now, the Saturn S. Uh, and so the Saturns are cheaper than what they were at launch. But that's okay because you know it's it's been a little while, and they're I understand why they do refreshes like that because I mean their business is selling printers, so and not everyone's gonna buy their new freaking giant uh what is it called the um, the Jupiter that freaking behemoth of a printer. No one needs that printer, although I guess some people need it because they they made it. They made it with the intention to sell it. So somebody's buying that printer. All right. So this is the big, the heavy ship for the One Page Rules Alliance fleet. We're going to paint, paint all of the solid tanks or all of the uh, full-size tanks yellow. Using green skin paint 
to paint like the front part of it and the spikes green because it looks like corn. <laughs> it looks like a stalk of corn. Yeah, yeah, or not a stalk, but an ear of corn. Yeah, I see it. I see that. That's not off. That's not too far off base. All right, let's put another coat of yellow on this tank as well. Use up the yellow that we have on our dry palette. How many likes on this uh, stream for, for in the next hour to get you to do that right now? <laughs> um, don't tempt me, brother. <laughs> okay, here's the deal, Ender. I have two of these. I think these are frigates or corvettes. Can't remember which. They're they're frigates. If you can get this video, uh, which currently sits at four likes, which is actually pretty good, uh, to ten likes, I will print this one. Or I will paint this one where the front of the ship and the little winglets that it has. I will paint them green. So 10 likes. So that's six likes in the next 24 minutes. Well, it's got four on mine. <laughs> so I have done ships. No, you're still here. I can still hear you. Got to make sure that I do this on camera or else what am I doing with my life? I talked to my wife about doing this professionally and she and I agreed that I would need to basically double my income that I currently make fixing dents for a living to be able to quit my job and do this full time. Oh, it's that five likes now. Five more to go. Yeah, it's at six for me. Are you logging into multiple channels? Is that what you're no. doing? I'm watching your channel. Oh. So I was watching a streamer uh, in uh, Australia stream uh escape from tarkov he's very very famous for streaming escape from tarkov and he said a australian uh slang phrase that i have to believe i could not believe was real it was uh i'm streaming for 22 more minutes <laughs> um, he said I'm not here to fuck spiders and I was like surely this is some like surely this is some like obscure like Australian military slang because he was in the Australian military and no I look it up it's an actual Australian idiom I'm not here to fuck spiders. What? Yeah. Say it. Say it. Say it, Ender. I did not look at images. I just... It's, it's just the elixir. <laughs> Wait, just the elixir? Is that the uh, alternative to uh, OnlyFans? Yeah. What the fuck are you? Oh my god, there's so many wizards. It sounds like the Destiny variant of a DDLC reference. <laughs> What's the DDLC reference, my friend? Just Monica. <laughs> <laughs> Are you a Monica simp in DDLC, Vex? Uh, no. <laughs> I just thought of something. You know the Pillar of Autumn, right? I do know the Pillar of Autumn. In yeah. fact... You, you know the rail gun? That hold on. You mean the Mac Cannon? Yeah. 
You mean this ship? Oh yeah, yeah. I mean, in the lore, they're basically guns with engines attached to them. The mech yeah, cannons. Is this going to be the uh, corn stream? Yes, fucking I like the details on this where it's got these two gnarly giant pipes on this side. And then what looks like a small craft bay, like a, uh, a uh, shuttle bay on this side. Uh, the Normandy. Yeah. When the Normandy is in port and you just walk onto the bay, it's like the door's right behind you on the side of the ship. That's what it looks like. Yeah. Well, I have to imagine the size of the squadrons that they have in here for these ships. I have to imagine this is a pretty big darn ship, but I guess every ship has to be able to pull into port and dock, right? Yeah, or space station. Yeah. Speaking of which, if you're interested in a book, I don't. I am not affiliated with uh, Amazon or with Audible at all. This is not. That is um, Palmer. That is about double the Halo Fleet Battles scale, uh, because Halo Fleet Battles is too small. In fact, I think I might have a Halo Fleet Battle scale. I don't. I think I tossed it. It was like one of my first prints. Nope, I don't. Well, I mean, you got time. We're at six. No, we're at seven. No, we're at six. Yeah, let me just uh, refresh the content page on my desktop, on my workstation here. It says six likes. Uh, good, then explain that. Where's that? Where'd you put that? In your DMs. Oh, in Discord? Are you sliding into my DMs, boy? I am. I've been there. Let's talk about that space. A filthy he that has just entered my bedroom. We're on stream, so I have to make entertaining content. Bro, do you do this for a living? Because you are on top of things. No, I'm just ADHD and say weird shit. Hey, you keep it coming, brother. Your weird, <laughs> your weird ship, uh, your weird shit is what the uh, the people in the at the top say is called engagement. I just said to keep it coming. No, I will make a deal with you. What? Yep. Uh, okay, example. He has a giant yellow ship that has fins going out of it that looks like a stock of corn. Yeah. Hold on, hold on. I'll, I'll get it for you. It's right here. See? Blue. It's just yes. Or a banana. No. I'm I'm more apt to do corn because I could just call it like a like a special like li livery. You could play it off as a faction. Yeah. A banana, it's obviously a banana. Palmer, I see your comment about the uh, that one game that was canceled before uh, before learning about it. I'm right there with you. It was canceled about two or three months after I learned about it, and the. It still has a, I wouldn't say a thriving um, community on Facebook. They do actually have a really good community 
that's trying to keep it alive. But the way that they handle... Okay, so I'm biased because I sell starships, right? Uh, but the way that they handle like user-generated content for uh, for existing ships is kind of... Um, I'm not saying... I won't say that it's antithetical. It's just that they they try really hard to protect people's IP at the expense of having their hobby grow. Well, at least they're better than Android. Oh, I mean, a, it's a community that is keeping a dead game alive. Uh, and, I mean, Games Workshop is famous for making communities uh, to keep dead games alive, right? Shoot, man, they've killed off more games like Epic. 40, uh, 40, Warhammer 40k Epic is the best. No, no, no. The Warhammer 40,000 Epic scale, which is 6 millimeter scale instead of 32 millimeter scale, uh, uh, is a system that they should have kept alive forever that they didn't. It's basically like picture. You know how how awesome it is to see like a repulsor tank or something like that. Uh, imagine seeing, imagine being able to field a game or play a game where you're fielding like fifty of those, and you don't have to spend a billion dollars to do that. That's that's what Epic is. Oh, you would love the Maker's Cult. Hold on, I got something for you, baby. This is from the Patreon, the Maker's Cult, who also makes Warhammer 40k adjacent ships. This is their, this is their Valor Corpse tank, which is supposed to fit in a kind of like Imperial Army, uh, or a, uh, what what do they call them? Uh, they didn't. It definitely does look at like an ATAT, but it's a it's a unique concept. I'm going to shit on you for a little bit. That is not an ATAT. Excuse me, excuse me. Hold on, hold on. ATTE. That's what I meant to say. What does that stand for? Uh, All terrain. Oh, I don't know. Tactical enforcer. I'm not good. I'm just a huge fucking nerd. <laughs> Which. Yeah, it's definitely heavily heavily inspired by, but I, I assure you that the the people at the Maker's Cult are not ripping uh, other people's assets well, no, to do that. It's like, well, yeah, no, it's like you can base it on the model, and the, the leg armature is probably very similar. Yeah. Because there's only so many ways you can design a well, walk. It's super similar because the way that the legs come out. I actually have a Star Wars Legion scale uh, ATTE printed. That guy is huge. What, side by side? No, it's in it's in like a million pieces. It's a very like it's bigger than it's bigger than the whole printing space that I have here, or the whole hey, painting how space. Are you at programming and stuff, like making your own models? Uh, I am. I'll tell you this: I do have some models that I've spent lots and lots and lots of time on, but my main skill comes from um kit bashing digital kit bashing um so there's a lot of star trek ships from expanded canon that didn't exist and then i put them together and printed them i don't have any examples within uh hand reach but because i'm actually looking to get a model made of an ap character which is i made it very easy he's made of just simple shapes well, what's the species? Post it. In the Discord chat, yeah. Do it, man. Um, okay, so I'm going to tell you about a website that is probably better suited than doing individual commissions unless you have someone who's awesome and dedicated like Tome. Uh, there's a site called uh, Hero Forge. Yes, I've used Hero Forge. Uh, that's what I need, and you'll see why in a second. 
Desktop Hero, which is uh, a basically Hero Forged except uh, open source and better. Actually, I can't. I don't know if it's. Uh, I don't know if they're open source. I can't. I can't really say that they are. Where'd you put it? I don't see it. Press and oh, there it is. Oh, he's dapper. <laughs> I mean, those shapes are pretty damn simple. Uh, Uh, hold on. Let me uh, put this down. Oh, I do. I do. I have no idea if this is gonna show up. You can see my phone. Okay. Let's see how well this shows up. Look at that dapper gentleman. <laughs> he kind of looks like kind of like a steampunk golem oh I like artificer maybe yeah, I don't I haven't I played uh, a. It wasn't D and D. I can't remember what it was. Um, it was D six based though. Oh, was it Monster of the Week? No, I, I'm not. I. No, it wasn't Pathfinder either. It was some generic thing. Uh, that. Star Wars. No, Star Wars isn't Star Wars D twenty, or I guess the new the Fantasy Flight Games Star Wars is like. What is the name of? No, nah, I'm, I'm not gonna worry about it. I guess I'm gonna paint some of these containers just gray, like administratum gray or something like that. Oh. That is a printer job that I was waiting to get done uh, to test out. I don't know what I did to my printer. It needed a replacement screen and the MOSFET that keeps the screen on when it's not printing. Like it's not... Okay, so picture a LCD screen that has a UV light underneath it. So the it, there I had a... I blew a MOSFET, which is apparently a known issue uh, with the printer where the LCD would stay on even if the UV light underneath wasn't on. So it prematurely wore out these screens because the screens on a mono screen resin printer are supposed to last for something like some ridiculous amount of hours, like 2000 hours. And I was going through these in, um, uh, Yeah. I would like to share a joke I just saw on the internet, but it's a joke at the current world affairs expense, and I would like to know if you are comfortable with that being on your stream. I mean, I'm not monetized, so I can't be demonetized, right? All right. So I open TikTok, and the first thing I see is a caption saying, gotta get the sound just practicing the song or something like that. Gotta set the tone right for when it nukes the world. And it's just I don't want to set the world on fire. I had to mute myself. That was that was crazy. Yeah, that was that was crazy. People are taking this shit and having way too much fun with the end of the world. Well, it's probably not gonna be the end of the world. Because here's the thing Vladimir Putin does have the authority within his stupid 
fucking government to order a nuclear strike, but uh, that order still has to be uh, executed by people. And I have faith that the Russian military has enough good people in it to not follow that stupid order from that fucking troll. Um, that said, uh, I do not have the confidence to say that he wouldn't issue an order like that. But I don't know. Look, I'm a religious guy, or I guess at least I, I claim to be a religious guy. Um, and my belief is that the world's going to get a lot worse before it gets better. So, uh, you know, it's maybe that's cynical or, uh, of me, but. I mean, hold on. In Star Trek, wasn't there an end of the world event before we all got, like, no money and then said, screw it, we work for better mankind just to do it? Well, I mean, so there was, uh, World War Three. But the the there's a quite a bit of distance between World War Three and uh, the scarcity free society of the 24th century Federation. All right, well, let's speed run this shit. Someone launch a vehicle. <laughs> Demonetized. <laughs> Wait, what? You cut off there. What what'd you say? That's peak humor right there. Yeah, no, I'm just really good at uh, muting myself without no one noticing. <laughs> That's the joke. That's the joke. What did what is Palmer saying? He said, uh, "That's what I thought about the Russian Federation military, but they're targeting civilians." Yeah, there's a difference between. Uh... Oh, hold on, hold on. To quote Star Wars, because that might be a good thing. Oh, oh what? God damn it! I just looked at one of my model kits. I noticed that its arm joint popped open, like the just seam split. Are they uh are the arm joints uh like clamshell design? It's a ball joint. But I guess the rubber cracked or something along the thing. Oh. I think I have extras somewhere. But it's just like the fact it happened and the fact that I might not have any extras infuriates me. I do not have any extras. I think trying to figure out what I'm going to do with these guys. I think I may hold off with these guys or throw black in there and then paint silver on them after the black is dry on the uh, the casings. Not sure. I don't know, man. Oh man, man! Yikes! Order sixty six. You know, everyone believes they're in the right at some point or another, and you know, shit happens. Yeah, but we're not talking about people who have biological implants in them that make them do things. Oh shoot! Did I not watch the end of Bad Batch? Do they run into guys that ide- ideologically believe good sol- soldiers follow orders too? Shoot, I need to finish Bad Batch. I just realized that I hadn't finished that. Would you like a spoiler? Or... I don't Ew. care. I don't care about spoilers, but other people might. So I would say refrain. Vex, Vex seems to carry silver. Yeah, it's, it's a big thing. It, it's a big thing. That arm thing's going to bug me now. 
well, go grab some plastic cement and make it not move anymore. What? They fixed the bounties in Dreaming City. Is that good or bad? They, it's good. Very good. Alessio has once again heard our prayers. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Ender's, uh, Ender's father is Telesto. Oh, my gosh. I'm sorry, Ender. I love you so much. That's not how it works. You compared me to Arnold twice. We're, we're joking, Arnold. We love you. Have you ever seen this? Yes. I mean, look, if Arnold watches the stream, Arnold, if we didn't like you, uh, A, I wouldn't be quoting you, and B, you wouldn't be in our Discord server, brother. We all like you. So don't feel too bad. All right, so this for now is going to be, we're going to set this and say it's done for now. When this paint on the little bubble carriers dries, I'll add some silver highlights to the framing so that it sticks out more. And then I'll probably add some like white paint uh, on the uh, the small craft bay. Hey, have you ever figured out how to make a ship go faster? Uh, don't, oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I made this ship go faster. Uh, okay, that is a good one to tell. But uh, there are multiple ways for a ship to go faster. You have warp way. Yeah. The red. The redneck way, uh, beach racing stripes on it. Yep. Or secondary redneck way, uh, hot rod flames. Hot rod flames. Yeah. All right. ludicrous they've gone to plaid all right guys um before we go uh i don't know uh paul morale i don't hmm, i'm not gonna address that because i'm not a i'm not a lawyer uh uh thank you very much for watching guys before you go i'm gonna give you a little uh uh um preview of the next painting stream that we're going to do when we're going to be painting the case shellac from uh ec3d this way there and it's gonna look like corn and when we do the case shellac if uh ender comes back i will give him his corn ship i will yeah. i will paint this corny for him I will paint. I will paint this as if it's a stock of corn. Uh, everything's on the cob. Run! <laughs> All right. So we got the K Shallot coming up. We're gonna do a video on these uh, this uh, FTL Warfleet uh, fleet of the uh, Alliance from. Uh, one page rules. What else do we got coming up? We've got the EC3D um, Alliance fleet coming up soon. The Procure Seder will come out soon. BW Reynolds uh, little uh, tubular ship, kind of e-cigarette kind of ship uh, will come out soon. We got lots coming. Thank you very much for watching. If you like our videos, our live streams, and all that, feel free to subscribe for more content. Leave us a content because or leave us a comment. Because we have no idea what we're doing and we'd love some direction from other people. And yes, leave us a content because I mean half of it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking. Both of you are amazing. And I'll uh, I'll see you corny people later. Bye bye. <laughs>